Even Kremlin propagandists are laughing at the lies of the authorities and the Russian Defense Ministry that all Ukrainian drones have been intercepted. Vladimir Solovyov expressed his opinion on the new speak of the authorities on the air of the state TV channel Russia One. On the air of the talk show, Evening with Vladimir Solovyov, they complained about the weakness of Russia's air defense and its inability to withstand attacks by Ukrainian attack drones. What worries me is our approach to building our own air defense. The enemy's experience shows that mobile groups in pickup trucks with normal lights, with normal weapons of which we have enough, can extinguish these drones on the front line, said the program's guest. Solovyov responded by saying that it is not Ukrainian UAVs that are scary to Russia, but their debris. In this way, he ridiculed the statements of the Russian authorities and military who, every time after successful Ukrainian drone flights to Russian warehouses and bases, declare that the targets were allegedly successfully intercepted and the fire and detonation occurred as a result of falling debris. I'll say even more, drones aren't scary. Drone debris is scary. The two scariest words are bang and debris, the propagandist said. Kremlin propagandists have taken heart and have begun to actively call on the authorities to end the so-called SVO. Dmitry Yevstafiev, who positions himself as an Americanist political scientist, is strongly hinting to the Kremlin that the war is harmful to Russia itself. He made the bold statement on the air of the propaganda resource Soloviev Live. Yevstafiev spoke very carefully so as not to provoke the wrath of the Russian leadership. However, the essence of his speech is more than clear. The protracted SVO weakens Russia, sucking its strength out. The main thing that is required of us now, winning in the SVO, putting pressure on the enemy, is to understand that the point is not to prove to the Ukrainians that we are cooler. The main thing is not to get bogged down in the Ukrainian swamp and not to lose sight of what is happening in the world around Russia. Not to waste reserves in the broad sense of the word on a false target. Ukraine, this is a dummy that they are trying to palm off on us at a high price with the Baltics in addition, the propagandist said. Two people were killed on Wednesday when the city of Kramatorsk in Ukraine's Donetsk region was hit by two Russian missiles, according to police. Both strikes hit residential buildings, according to Pavlo Dyachenko, head of communications for Donetsk Region Police. In the first case, a five-story building was damaged, the one that you can see behind. In another case, it was a nine-story building. The five-story building was hit on its rooftop, and the nine-story building got hit in its central part, Dyachenko said. Dyachenko said 15 people were injured in the missile strikes. Later, the Ministry of Internal Affairs of Ukraine reported that 19 were injured. Earlier in the day, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky urged global leaders to stand with his country and not seek, lull, instead of a, real, just peace, more than two years into the war with Russia. At a time when he faces growing pressure from Western allies and some of his fellow Ukrainians to negotiate a ceasefire, Zelensky told the UN General Assembly, there's no alternative to the peace formula he presented two years ago. It seeks the expulsion of all Russian forces from Ukraine, accountability for war crimes, release of prisoners of war and deportees, nuclear safety, energy and food security and more. Сьогодні приблизно о 15.40 стався обстріл міста Краматорськ. З боку російських окупаційних військ попередньо це два авіаудари. Вони пройшлися в житлову забудову. 
першому випадку постраждав п'ятиповерховий будинок, який знаходиться от за нами. В іншому випадку це дев'ятиповерхова будівля. Влучання у п'ятиповерхівку в дах, в дев'ятиповерхівку в середню частину. Станом на зараз відомо про двох загиблих осіб внаслідок цих авіаударів та близько 15 поранених. Я тоже просила. Спасибо. Пожалуйста. 